Okay, uh, before I say the word, let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you please speak through me and please give us revelation and teachings. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you please speak through my mouth and let us be able to hear and understand and do accordingly and be encouraged in Jesus' my name. I pray. Glory God, glory God. Hallelujah. Yeah, so uh, there are some people uh, that keeps on asking me to pray for them uh, over and over and over. Um, this is not biblical, okay? You don't keep on praying for somebody over and over. Same problem for over and over and over again, you know? Um, when you start growing up, you need to learn how to get the milk yourself, okay? You need to know how to get the answer from the Lord yourself. You don't know, depend on anybody. You shouldn't actually depend on any human at all. You should only go to the Lord and ask in prayer, in fervent prayer, and seeking the Lord. Many people just keep on asking for all, oh, pray, pray for my masturbation habits, pray for my lust, pray for my lust to go away. You know, the Bible says there's no temptation that, that is so powerful and so great that you cannot overcome. Okay? And God does not give you such, does not allow such temptation to happen to you. All things you can overcome with Jesus Christ by staying with Him, by learning how to depend on Him. Yeah, hey, everybody has their own battles. I have to fight my own. You have to fight your own. I cannot always pray for you and cast out demons for you and pray for you. You know, you got to learn how to cast out demons yourself. You know, and I've been teaching it. How do you cast out demons? Be filled up with the Holy Spirit by praying, 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 especially in the gift of tongues first. And when you've been prayed in Jesus' name, boldly cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ, and they have to leave. You have to believe that also and be bold and strong, as if you're yelling at a dog. I, I preached and taught that, but I, I'm not there always to uh, cast out demons for you or pray for you. Do you, do you understand? So let's say if you were trying to buy something that costs $100, you need a $100 miracle to happen, okay? When I pray, I may be giving $2, $3, $4, $5, $10 here. The other 90 some dollars, you need to fill up. You need to purchase, purchase it with your own anointing oil that you receive, you know? In the 10, ten virgins uh, parable where God gives five virgins have oil prepared, the other five didn't. Okay, and then the five who don't have much oil come to the five virgins who have oil and, and they go like, hey, can you lend me some oil? And then these people go like, no, go get your own, buy your own. You know, we, we don't even have enough for ourselves. Go get your own. So while they're gone, Jesus comes back and only the pe people who are always prepared with their lamps filled with oil, they get lifted up, right? So in that example, you, you can learn, okay? You cannot be always begging for somebody to pray for you. Oh, I need to hear the word of God. I need to, you know, go get it yourself. God is everywhere. Jesus said, it is better for me that I go to heaven so that I can send you the Holy Spirit unto you. Why? Because if Jesus is here, his, 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 his place where he can go, where he's at, is limited. You know, he can be only one place at one time. But if the Holy Spirit is given, he's everywhere. So. Jesus said, it's better that I go up because the Holy Spirit is everywhere. You can get the anointing, you can get the healing, you can get delivered where you're at. I don't, I don't need to be, you know, on earth. It's better the Holy Spirit is here because He's everywhere, right? So use that, you know, knowledge, use that. So what, what to do when you're in a serious situation or whatever you need, probably you need to overcome? Go into your prayer closet or, or into a secluded place by yourself, go to a church or something, and go there and seek the Lord with all you got, crying out to Him, pray to Him, you know, then there your, there's your miracle. Then there's the, the, the power of the Lord with you there. Amen? So seek yourself. It's not that, okay, uh, oh, your prayers must be more, more, more stronger. Well, in order for me to get here, I had to do the work. I had to do the seeking. You know, I had to, you know, if, if I'm in trouble, I go to my room and I pray, 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 you know, until I feel comforted. And I've done it over and over again. And God, God teaches you, God, God shows you. And, and it's good to be always be filled with the Holy Spirit so that you don't have much problems, okay? 
like I learned that okay if I don't pray two hours about two hours a day you know my life is not gonna be as smooth so I always make sure that I pray 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 always you know I, I, I alert myself I need to pray I need to pray you know I always get into the habit Jesus by habit he always went to the mountain to pray you have to learn these things learn how to pray on your own and get the answers on your own God wants to be strong soldiers you don't want to be weak people oh help me help me help you know he wants you to come to him yourself I cannot discipline you you need to discipline yourself and keep on reminding you write it down on a wall so write down pray always something like that on the wall and so you can see oh I gotta pray I gotta pray in the beginning I wrote a lot of scriptures on the wall just to remind myself okay and it helped me and it made me grow stronger as a person you know so when your babes discipline yourselves learn how to you know get into the habit of always praying and stop asking other people to pray for you it is better that you go and seek the Lord yourself and find the Lord yourself stop being lazy don't depend you know other people you can find the Lord yourself don't be lazy don't be lack of confidence oh I can't do it you can do it you can do it don't let the devil lie to you say in Jesus name devils get off I can find the Lord Bible says you know if I draw draw near to him he will draw near to me so God will draw near to you when you draw near to him draw near to him and you that's where all the answers to your problems are all of them God can do any kind of miracle whatever you don't have a job pray 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 get a job you need money pray 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 God will give you money you need, you need food pray 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 God will give you food you need healing pray 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 God will heal you you know what his hand is short that he won't he can't heal you you know and God will show you the things that you must fix you know your problems your selfishness your pridefulness you know, your wickedness your evil things that you're doing you may have to repent and that starts building a relationship God wants to have a relationship a personal relationship and it does not begin only except in your own room in your prayer closet when you pray and seek the Lord and when you read the word and study okay he wants that relationship don't don't be like I need to hear the word of God. I need to go to church hey don't depend on no church no pastor no prophet you know there are a lot of false pastors false prophets false teachers false evangelists there are a lot of false people like that out there you know do not depend yourself upon teachers and preachers and stuff depend on the Lord if you have a question ask the Lord amen so dear Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray to preach the word, Father. Please help these people to find you and to know you more and more closely and to, to start developing a, developing a prayer habit so they don't have much problems in their lives and that they always seek you and always put you number one. In Jesus' my name, I pray. Glory to God. Amen. God bless you.